Good morning, children. Today we are going to learn about the tanks and groundwater. This is our third lesson in our seventh class. You know the tanks, Cherulu. Generally, the fishermen go to the tanks and they are fishing the fishes. And in the villages, the children swim in the tanks in the summer, especially. And from the ancient period, the people tried, the people used to store the enough water by building these tanks, especially at the time of Kakatiya kings. The Kakatiya kings and the military leaders are the Nayakas, or some of the villagers also built these tanks in those times. So, how were the tanks? How were the tanks built? Generally, the strong tank wall is built with the stones and the mud across a river. Generally, across a river, we construct a wall or a bond. We construct a wall or a bond with the stones and the mud. We store the water in that. So, it will become as the tank. In those times, the villagers at their own cost, they built the tanks. And they contributed their, they contributed the expenses and the labor also in those times. And sometimes the kings build the tanks, they named over the kings' names. And after that, how did the tanks get used? There are so many advantages of the tanks. They are giving the drinking water, not only giving the drinking water, they are using the tank water for the cultivation and also by storing the water in the tanks that improve the groundwater level in the surrounding areas. In surrounding areas, groundwater level will also be increased. And also when we stop the running water and it helps to obstruct the soil erosion, it helps to reduce the soil erosion also. And from the tanks, Every year, the farmers, they are removing the salt and they are using that mud or silt taken from the tanks in their fields to get the more crops. And the decline of tanks in our times. For the 20 to 30 years, the tanks have been neglected by the people and the administrators. Most of the tank bones were damaged and they were filled with the silt and mud. When they filled with the silt and mud, they lost their capacity of holding water. And also, when they lost their capacity to hold the water and it cannot hold the sufficient water in that and it cannot provide the water in the drought times. If the more water is preserved in the tanks, it will be helpful to us for the next crop in the drought season also. Our government, especially our Telangana government, launched a important program that is a mission Kakatiya. What is that? Mission Kakatiya. In all the Mission that the Manavuru Manacheru, our village, our tank. This program was launched to improve the tanks about 47,000 of 47,000 tanks will be improved. By the way of removing the silt from the tanks and repair the tank bonds and constructing the tank bonds, by this way the government is doing the government is improving the tanks. So, this is more helpful to the people for the cropping and for the fishing and for the storage of water for the future and to improve the groundwater level also. So, this is the important program is conducted. This important <coughs> program is conducted by the Telangana government.
and fishing in the tanks generally there are two communities they are fishing in the tanks these are the gunla and bista they are also called as the ganga putra community and also mudiraz community locally we call them as the telugu community these telugu and ganga putra community they are fishing the fishes in the tanks regularly the fishing is the main occupation of them of course generally the fishing they are doing fishing in the march and april months the remaining months they will become as the they work as the farmers or the agriculture laborers so to understand clearly about the tanks and the importance of tanks and the position of the tanks so we take one example of a village that village name is betavolu village or the betavolu village this betavolu village is located in surya pet district surya pet district near kodara near kodara this village is named as betavolu named after the small ruler in those time betal reddy the betal reddy built a tank in that village in the name of his wife veerala devi so the tank is named as the tank is called as the veerala devi cheru or veerala devi cheru so the tank was very helpful to the villagers here fishing in the tanks generally these communities the fishing community the fishing folk generally they start fishing in the early morning 4 to 8 o'clock in the port to 8 o'clock and after fishing they will sell their fishes in the near markets especially in kodada and other villages and if they get more fishes they will also transport to the hyderabad city they will transport to hyderabad city also if they get more more fishes and here fish is in this tanks in the early times there are different types of there were different types of fishes were there for example budda varakalu korralu korra meenalu and papara poonalu ganda varakalu pulselu chandamama kodipelu like the different types of fishes were there and they have the different taste each you can enjoy the different tastes of tastes of different fishes also but recently they are disappeared most of the types of fishes were disappeared recently due to the pollution especially we are using the chemical fertilizers in the fields and that chemical fertilizers chemical fertilizers and why will the rain water is flowing towards the tanks it brings the chemicals also due to that chemicals these fishes types were disappeared only today when we go to the market only few types of fishes are available here generally they are also rubber rose and mochel and bangar tiger and these types of few types of which is are available in our tanks generally the fishermen use the different types of nets the nets have the 30 kandu 30 kandu and 60 kandu what are the kandu holes kandu nothing but holes the net which have the holes they are called as the kanulu 30 kanulu it weighs less it is less weight it weighs more 60 kanulu so it fishes it is used for fishing only small fishes and prawns etc here and 
This unit is used for uh, catch the fishes from the 100 grams up to 5 kgs. So this is also called Sannapu Vala. Sannapu Vala. And this is also called Doddu Vala. Sannapu Vala, Doddu Vala. And also there are two other two types of nets also there. They are called the one is the Katsu Vala. Katsu Vala. And Sire Vala. Katsu Vala. Katsu Net and Sire Net. You know, Katsu Net is used. Katsu Net is used in the deep water. In the fishing in the deep water, we use the Katsu Vala. And in the shallow water, they use the Visre Vala. They throw that net to catch the fishes here. And also, they use boats, boat like prepared by the Tarmakul, and they use it to haul on that to the deep water and they spread the Katsu net over the water. And in the shallow water, they can use the Visre net. So, Katsuwala, Visrevala. And generally, the male people will catch the fishes, and the female generally they sell that fishes in the nearest markets. That is their livelihood. And completed the net ties. Then, fishing also completed. There are cooperative social society, cooperative society of the fishermen. Generally, we know the agricultural society, the different occupations they have their societies for their welfare. And here also, there is a society, cooperative society of fishermen. This cooperative society of fishermen, in this society, the each family of that special community, the fishermen, the fisher folk communities, they will have the membership. So each family will have the membership. Based on the Ayakattu. Ayakattu means the catchment area, the providing water area of that special tank. And the membership will be given on the basis of one hectare. It means two and a half acres of Ayakattu for one membership. Then, of course, there are some other rules are there for various villages. And here, according with the help of the society, the all together, the all the members together, they put, put the fish seedlings in the tank and when they grow up, they catch the fishes and sell in the outside market. But generally, these fishermen, they are poor as they are unable to purchase that seedlings from the seedling palms. So, the new type of method of New type method is introduced. New type method is introduced by the traders. The traders came. They are giving the advances to that fishermen, and they are responsible for putting the seedlings in that tank and they are protecting them. And after that, they are, are used to they are using these fisher folk to catch that fishes when they grow. And they will give the rate. 10 to 20 percent less than the market price. They are giving the rate 10 to 20 percent less than the market price to that fisherman. This is what the new method. And if the government and if the banks will give the loans to that poor fisherman, they will put the seedlings in their home and they will catch mutually and they will share the amount equally. They will be benefited if the government would 